Hi, this is Deborah. Today I want to talk about being disabled and how I get through every day. Every day is a marathon for people who are disabled. Uh, I highly recommend that you do call your family and friends and let them know that you're not the same person that you used to be and you can't do the things that you used to do because most of the time they're just going to think you don't like them anymore or that you're lazy. So you need to make that family announcement. Uh, so I start my day with two cups of coffee. I cannot move until I have those two cups of coffee. And then I have to take uh, a tramadol. That takes about an hour to um, sink in. Then it's this next is the hard part. I have to psych myself up. I have to pretend like I am running a marathon and say, you can do it, you can do it. Don't let this take over your whole life because you can work when you're disabled. You're just very limited to the hours and what you can do because you get tired very, very quickly. Um, so I can usually work three and a half hours, and that's with a tramadol and a muscle relaxer before uh, the pain starts really jutting into my back and my spine. Uh, so it's good to stretch. Like every morning before I get out of the bed, I have to stretch like a cat. That helps, and I think it would be great if I had that, um, I guess it's the chair that throws your body upside down because I think stretching some of those uh, discs and things would probably alle alleviate some of my pain. So you're probably wondering what's wrong with me. Well, um, my mother had a very bad back and I inherited it from her and then my son has it and my granddaughter and it's not good. It's a generative disc disease. Now a lot of you are going to say, well, everybody gets old and everybody has that. No, not like I do because the first time an x-ray was done on my back, the doctor actually, actually I thought he was gonna break down in tears. He spent 45 minutes talking to me and he, and he diagrammed everything and he says, anything that could be wrong with your back, you have. So after two years of research, I did find a doctor in Fairfax. His name is Dr. Christopher Saveri, S-I-L-V as in Victor, E-R-I. Uh, so I had a spinal fusion and a laminectomy and last year I had a right hip replacement and my pain level for that area went from a 7 to a 1. It was quite remarkable that surgery and I also had a, a big tumor removed. Um, but the thing, the secret is to pace yourself and easy does it I guess. And I have to pick two things that I need, have to desperately do. Because I know I'm only going to have the, the strength and the capability of doing those two things. Uh, and that is crucial to at least do two important things a day. Now, it may take me, you know, 12 hours to do it. And for some reason, I'm a night owl. I guess because I used to be a deputy sheriff and I worked the three to 11 shift, but I usually don't go to bed till 2 a.m., sometimes 5 a.m. And, but if I'm working four hours for someone else, by the time I get home and wind down, it's already midnight, you know, and other people get more sleep than I do, but my sleep is so important to me and it's, <laughs> I don't think I could uh, sleep with anybody that snores or ha who's constantly moving because I am such a light sleeper. And sleep is the only way that my body can rejuvenate itself in order to do what I need to do the next day. So if you're wondering, you're probably saying, oh, she's just full of it. You can't work when you're disabled. Well, yes, you can. It's called the Right to Work Program. If you go under socialsecurity.gov or whatever that website is it will tell you all about the right to work now there's a program where they can give you the skills and put you 
some place to work or you can just work for anybody that you want but you must tell them you know what your capabilities are and uh, I have made it no secret to where I work at that that I cannot do some of the things that the other employees can do and they've been very accommodating on that uh, and you have to I thought it was 1000 250 that I could make gross, but that's not right. It's $850 a month gross. Don't go by the net. Don't get, go by what is on your paycheck. You have to go by the gross. And if you go over that nine times, I think in two or three years, then they're going to um, start calculating you different and possibly be taking money away from your disability check but it is very complicated you need to read it and don't just go by calling social security because i got the wrong information when i called because they told me you know it was 1200 no that's not right it's 850 dollars so whatever you find out back it up by getting a second opinion because that could really mess you up uh, so, and I found out I can't retire till I'm 65, 66 in two months or something like that. But what I don't understand is other people who were younger than me are already semi-retired. But it's all about your birthday, the year you were born, because they calculate all that a little different. Uh, a lot of times when I'm at work, I will moan. I mean, the moaning <laughs> seems to help the pain. Uh but I do have to pace myself. So if I do something for 15 minutes, I've got to sit down and stop. And a lot of people say, why in the hell are you on Facebook so much? Well, it's because I got to sit down a lot during the day and it gives me something to do. Uh, so yeah, you, when you're disabled, people are going to accuse you of a lot of things, you know, but, uh, so I wish everybody who has, um, back problems or neck problems i hope that you do something nice for yourself today all right bye